Recently, Rhino Metals was kind enough to donate a safe to me. The Longhorn Strongbox model LSB 1014. I like everything about the safe except for the lock installed on it. It's one of these pagoda style locks. I'll show you this one is working. I pulled this out of my collection of cam locks and I've decided the best way to deal with this issue rather than attack a safe that's been donated to me, I will pick an equivalent lock in a separate video. And I've just attached this to a piece of a housing from a safe that I tested years ago now. I don't even think this is on the market anymore. So I'll try to pick it right now and I'll zoom in. And I'm working at an odd angle to the camera, so I apologize if um, I'll try not to get in the way of what I'm doing. This was a half diamond pick and I ground off um, the half diamond so I could have a straight pointy thing. And this is a homemade uh, tension wrench. It's a piece of brass wire. These are odd locks. They have these brass rings. Um, and you can tension one side of a lock like this, go through and set the rings, and fool yourself into thinking you're picking the lock. And uh, you'll get everything set. The lock is not turning, and you'll wonder what's happening. And it's because these rings get canted at an angle you can have them all set down one way. You have to go down the other side of the keyway to push on them and then they get canted in the other direction and you just go back and forth. And that was overset, but that's okay. It's gonna slip back. There, it's open. So now, let me take this apart and show you what it looks like on the inside. These are really goofy looking locks. There's a wire here I need to pull out. Oh, I should mention this. If you ever take one of these kinds of locks apart, you want to be careful to hold the plug in place, um, set it down on something or hold it with, a, with your finger because there are these two pins that just looking down the keyway, it looks like they're ball bearings, but they're not. They're pins that extend into the key in that hole. And I guess they allow the, yeah, I think that's what allows the key to be, or the lock to be key retaining. But these pins will go shooting out. There's one of the pins right there. And the spring. So these are the brass pieces that cause all the trouble. When you go to set these down one side, they'll, they'll get canted at an angle like this. So anyway, there they are. Um, it's not a great lock. I don't like it. And I hope this is the polite way to compromise a lock that has been installed on a device that was donated.